Adventurer, you've returned from the tomb of the demon Lord Velgoth. I have, and man, what a journey. That was hard. Did you manage to find the chest of abandoned souls? <gasps> I managed to battle my way through the catacombs, fought off the invisible skeletons, which led me through into the eternally I've sliced my way through the living vine. Eventually found the key, which was a nightmare to find. I opened the shadow gate, the labyrinth, literally hours being lost. I got through to the middle, fought the Minotaur a bunch of times. And you got the yeah. I broke off his horn, which opened up the tomb of the Dark Lord Bolgar. Went in there, punched the Minotaur's horn, grew his chest, eventually revealed the chest of abandoned souls, which I now present to you. Adventure. You have no idea the value of this chest. This chest has been mythologized through the ages. It was made by the first men. It is said that it literally contains the souls of the demon lord's victims. Do you have any idea how much this is worth? I mean, I can only imagine. It is worth over a hundred thousand gold. Ho oh, ho, yes! Because inside it has... Oh! <laughs> That, there goes the souls. Ah, uh, uh, the souls are kind of what give it its value. So it's really just a, a kind of a chest. No, it's not really the chest of abandoned souls. So it's kind of, best I can do is give you 12 gold for it. What? Well, it's just the, the main value of it was the souls and it no longer has the souls in it. Yeah, and whose fault is that? Well, I mean, you know, let's not play the blame game. No, I very much want to play the blame game right let's, now. Let's, let's not get into like semantics about who did what. I'm... I went and spent hours, literally hours I, to get I, it. I, yes. Like yeah. six game sessions yeah. slogging to get this and cart it all the way back here and you just open it. You know, it's kind of your fault. How do you work that out? You didn't tell me about the easy latch that it has on it. You don't just hand a chest to someone not warning them about the easy latch. You were the one who sent me to get it. I assumed you knew not to open the chest of abandoned souls willy nilly. Well, at the end of the day, souls are gone. Let's move on and try to get to a resolution here. Okay, you know what? I didn't even want to sell it to you anymore. I'm gonna keep it. A little memento, a little reminder of all the literal hours of my real life I put into getting the thing. So you can take your 12 gold and shove it. One question. How are you gonna complete the quest? What? Well, I'm just wondering how are you gonna finish the quest and get your experience points? Wait, wait, wait. So. All that work I did, going through the catacombs and the forest, the defeating the bosses, the carting it all the way back here, that's not the experience. What? I have to bring it back and sell a now empty chest to a blacksmith. That's how I get the experience. Well, like, like I said, I don't make the rules and I'm not forcing you to do anything. This is completely your choice. I'm just telling you what your options are. Yeah, it's totally optional. Except that this is a main story quest, so the whole game bottlenecks to this point. Well, I mean, uh... Take it. You're voluntarily selling me the chest. Take the... take the chest. Ah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. For your service. Yeah. Yeah, there can be seen, man. Just for future reference, like, just remember to tell people about latches. That's not really my, my, my fault, you know, you're, kind of your fault. 